So again, I'm really trying to prepare you guys um, for, for what we're going to be doing later on. Um, but guys, this is the same thing. Now what they're asking us, again, our constraint for this problem is only in the first quadrant. And that's very, very helpful. It's very, very helpful for us to know it's only in the first quadrant. All right. So what I want to do, remember, these are points. Square root of 3 is a point on the unit circle. So therefore, I know that it is a ratio of y over x. So what I can do is out of these three points, I just need to determine which one of my angles is going to produce um, when I do y over x is going to be 2 square root of 3. So I can do 1 half over square root of 3 over 2. I could do tan of pi over 4 equals, which we already did, right? Square root of 2 over 2 divided by square root of 2 over 2. And then I could do tan of pi over 3. So let's simplify these. Well, if I simplify these, the 2's, remember, do you guys want me to multiply by all the reciprocals? I can do it simpler? OK. So here, the 2's cancel out. So I'm left with 1 over square root of 3. Rationalize the denominator. Square root of 3 over 3. Is that my answer? No. So therefore, this angle, pi 6, is not going to be the angle. We already know this simplified to 1, right? So then my last real option is, well, what about the square root of 3? Or pi over 3, I'm sorry. Pi over 3 is this point. So it would be square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half. Well, again, the 2's divide out. And I'm left with square root of 3. So therefore, when what is the angle of tangent of theta when it's equal to square root of 3? That angle is going to be pi over 3 or 60 degrees. Sine is 1 half.